white skin. Hey guys, the gig is up. I'm not the real Jesus. As a matter of fact, the fella's name wasn't even Jesus. He had a Hebrew name. There wasn't a letter J until a few hundred years ago. <laughs> With that being said, I have fooled the whole world into the biggest sham of all time. The name and identity of the real fella has been taken over by me. <laughs> there are thousands of paintings of Jesus, and they don't even come close. Jesus was the creation of the Roman Catholic Church, which served to replace the real fella, who probably looked more like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> but who cares? The truth doesn't matter, as long as you pay your tithes. <laughs> Hey, did you know that Pope Alexander VI commissioned Leonardo da Vinci to reinvent Jesus in the image of his own beloved son, Cesare Borgia? He felt that the Vatican needed a makeover because the real fella wasn't too appealing to the general public. So, voila, here I am, the modern version of the fake Jesus. <laughs> Got you again. You saw me. I actually came clean and told you that I wasn't the real Jesus. I also told you that I was created to make certain populations happy and comfortable. Well, I am glad to see that many of you are loyal and enjoy strong delusions and still want me as your savior. <laughs> wow, what idiots. You can't obviously believe that Watchmen, Yahoo, and Devora did not pay me to do the intro for Wide It Out 4 to deceive the masses. The true Israelites are the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics and Native Americans scattered throughout the earth. The Judah team has an agenda to make all the tribes Hamite. Matthew 24, 4 says, To take heed that no man deceive you. Oh. And I'm not really Jesus.